Lol. What conspiracy theory is too logical to be ignored? Flight 980 was carrying drugs or something and multiple governments have butchered the investigation to try and hide it. Also there's like some trafficking ring or serial killers in remote areas of Malaysia aiming at tourists, then when the police investigate they say they just went missing, it's a likely story but at this stage one think I've heard way too many cases of tourists apparently deciding to just wander into the jungle in their underwear to really buy it. My friend thinks some Amazon delivery vans are not actual Amazon delivery vans, but the government or something, no one questions the Amazon delivery vans, they're up and down your street every day, all day, sometimes more than once a day, do you really stop to see where they go? Do you even bat an eye when you see one? Nope. Part of the scenery, no one would notice one quickly whipping into the driveway of the Janssen's five doors down, busting inside, and pulling out three bound figures before swiftly throwing them in the van and speeding off, not even in broad daylight. Trillions of dollars of Pentagon budget cannot be traced. Where did it go? What was it used for? Clothing stores don't give women's clothing pockets so women will buy purses. Current conspiracy theories are intentionally started by Russia to weaken the US. That Prescott Bush, patriarch of the Bush dynasty, is partially responsible for the economic powerhouse of the Nazis. My 8th grade social studies teacher spent an entire week on the JFK assassination. He believes it was two CIA agents that actually fired the fatal shots back into the left, he would constantly say, and that it was impossible for Oswald to get all three shots off in nine seconds, that was a fun week in class. Clearly, that Finland isn't real, I've never been there, and don't know anyone who has. That Kurt Cobain was killed by Courtney Love, there's loads of evidence, even one guy said that he was offered 50k to kill her but declined, he was killed on the way to court. Well Operation Paperclip has been a known fact that happened for a bit, they also just basically confirmed that Hitler died an old man in Argentina, also that we covered up Unit 731, in Japan, basically the US wasn't much better than the Nazis, we experimented on slaves without anesthesia, we tried to reprogram natived until the 90s and then we experimented on black PPL without knowledge let alone consent for years. Sick shit man. The only feasible motivation for intentionally releasing a virus that somehow doesn't kill as many kids as normal would be a virus aimed at targeting the elderly to reduce the social costs of their end of life years. The long-term savings of this virus could outstrip the short-term losses. I don't believe it at all, but when people were claiming financial reasons early on I scoffed at them since this hurt all nations financially. They actually asked me what a motivation could be and that's the one I thought of but didn't tell them, conspiracist nutters, still think about it from time to time and have no one I'm willing to say it to for fear they're gonna run with it. It sound right boys.